Listen, I'm going to tell you something right now because young Megyn Kelly doesn't have teener teenagers yet, but my favorite newspaper... We are the same but, age. Right. I know, I understand <laughs> that, but, but trust me, trust Grandma right now. Right to, I have children who are teenagers, which means that I am now aging in dog years. Do you understand? <laughs> so listen to this. I want to teach you how to argue with a teen because the personal journal had something very helpful here. It's going to okay. teach us how to argue with a teen. Try this at home, they say. Try this at home when trying to get your cell phone, the, your child's cell phone away from them. This is something that I have going on in my house on a nightly level. Mm -hmm. The kids know at bedtime they are to hand me their, their devices, their electronic devices, because there's been studies that it keeps kids awake even when they're not on. It keeps them up, just the anxiety, mm -hmm. right? So try this at home, it says. How to argue with a teen. Mom says, time to turn your phone off. Teen says, but I just need to finish this game and all my friends get up to stay up later. <laughs> Five minutes later, mom comes in and says, you need to sleep. Remember, we've already agreed that this is the time the phone goes off. You know the consequences. No phone tomorrow. That's a stupid rule. You never let me do anything. You're mean. <laughs> mom says, I f I'm sorry that you feel that way, but that's not how we talk to each other in this family. If you keep using disrespectful language, the conversation is over. over. Teen, grumbles, rolls eyes, but acquiesces. Now listen, Wall Street Journal, I love you, but I don't know what teenagers you're talking, I don't know what mystery household you're in and what magical teenagers you're talking to, but none of this is how it goes down, okay? Now if you want to call me, right? call me, and I will, I will certainly have the actual conversation of what is really said with you. Let, let's hear it. How does it go? Um, okay. It's <laughs> the dramatic reenactment. It starts with me tossing the room like a prison warden because I know there's a hidden device that I haven't found <laughs> right, yet, right? right? I know because I just know. So I find the hidden cell phone that is buried underneath a pillow, deep within the bed, below the thing, under the thing, plugged into a thing, and I go, an iPhone 2? <laughs> right? And I confiscate it. You're so cruel. I have perfect grades, perfect grades. And I go, let's define perfect for a second. Can we define perfect? And then we get into uh, how I'm the cruelest mom. I'm a busybody. I should. All right, I now, sh explain this to me, though, yeah. because in my fantasy world, I, I, I was raised by sort of no nonsense parents. And so in my fantasy world, the way this is going to go when my kids mm -hmm. hit this age is give it to me right now. Right now. <laughs> go to bed. And then I'm out of there. I'm having a glass of wine on the sofa. No. Is that not? <laughs> no. Usually you come in with the wine bottle in your hand. <laughs> the cork in your and mouth. And you're screaming much louder than that. And the language is more colorful. And there are usually threats of some kind right, or another. Right. And, uh, but then you still have to toss the room because they have hidden devices. I don't know where they come from. I don't know what eBay they're shopping on behind my back, but yes. they all, but it's, n none of it goes that way. And you try to say, give it to me right now. And I do, and I, and I always, I always wind up getting the devices back. But I've, I've witnessed, I've witnessed a flashlight on where like the door creaks open and I see a flashlight and there's a crawling across the floor and I go, turn on the light and I go, what are you doing? I just need my computer. I really need to finish my homework assignment. At three in the morning? I don't think so. What about, now what about the laws of natural consequences, which is, you know, like I've got a five-year-old and now it's getting cold and she doesn't want to wear the leggings to go to school. She wants to just wear the dress. And so, but it's going to be 40 degrees today. And she's out and it's like, okay, go. You're gonna freeze. Good. Right. So what if what happens if you just let them stay up until three in the morning, looking at the iPhone two, and you know they they they're grumpy the next day and they don't have the assignment done. They what? don't get into college and oh. they live with you forever and they they live with you forever. <laughs> you know what forever means? You can never get rid of them. Never get rid of them.